So, hello, what's up, and welcome back to the My Witch Angel page. Now, as you can see, it kind of looks a little bit different, and it's probably going to change soon. Um, I know, I've like been gone forever. <laughs> um, so if you are returning, I want to thank you so, so, so much. If you're a returning subscriber, you have all my love, and I've decided that you guys subscribers are going to be called angels yeah welcome my angels um if you're a subscriber so and if you're not subscribed but join the choir okay we're all good here we all got good vibes positive vibes help love each other and so for this intro right i'm gonna get them to set up my like you know deal so we can get into our readings and while we do that i'll explain what i've been doing for the past month it won't take too long but if you want to go ahead and skip to the pause selection get your reading in go ahead boo the uh timestamp is going to be linked down below in the description um i think i might also comment it as well it'll be my first time so if it doesn't happen y'all uh, cheers <laughs> mm. to a wonderful reading okay and to you guys and also to the angels who subscribed. Alrighty guys. So yeah, I'm gonna move the angle down so you can see like what I'm doing. All my things are in boxes. Um, I'll tell you why. Okay, guys, so honestly, my like tripod broke right as I was like setting all of this up. So um it's literally on its side right now. <laughs> and I have my phone like tipped. Anywho. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Y'all, you know, we be manifesting up in here, and one of my manifestations was moving to the bellissima, beautiful country of Italy. Now, um, if you've, like, followed me on Instagram, like, my personal page, you already know what this is, so y'all can go ahead and skip. <laughs> but if you're curious and you want to know, you can stick around. Um, but if you want to follow me, like, see what I'm up to, like, on my normal days here and there sometimes, um, my page, uh, or my, uh, Insta, Handle is AJ Clouds with a Z because you know I gotta be a cool kid. Um, and I'll probably link it somewhere, I don't know, down there. But anyway, so I like, I, I just love Italy, you guys. Like, I've been a couple times. Um, bless up to my mom because <laughs> she took us. Um, and we traveled all around Europe, and I just really loved the language, I loved the history, I loved the culture, I loved it. and. You know, I've never like talked about living there or, um, you know, anything like that or anything about my dreams really. Cause I just, I don't know, I kind of keep a lot of my dreams and aspirations to myself. Cause it can like be really big, of like really big dreams, y'all. <laughs> um, and so I'm just like, you know what, let me just quietly work on it, right? And so anyway, I was going to be an English teacher over there. Now, mind you, like, had I, I wanted to do this for a long time, but I only really planned on it for like maybe two months doing our research on, you know, visas and uh, you know, immigration policies, the COVID policies, and I was moving with my cats too. Hold on, I'm gonna need this book. Um, so I have to, you know, see what type of vaccinations they needed and all this type of jazz, right? Um, anyway, so I ended up getting their grades. I ended up getting um my codice fiscale which is like a federal code it's like if you're from america it's like the social security number right um which isn't that hard to get it just can be kind of like a tedious process depending on how you do it um i tried to do it while i was here but um it just didn't work out so i ended up having to go there and then getting it done but hell it doesn't matter anyway because the only thing i really needed hold on how am i gonna organize this yeah. Um, the only thing I really needed was an apartments. Y'all, I'm never gonna use this deck. It's not my intention today, but <laughs> if you are an angel and you've been part of the choir for a minute, then you already know <laughs> we just be letting spirit guide us here. So whatever, whatever. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. <gasps> I do have four tarot cards, you guys. Like the other day, I was like, oh my god, I only have three uh, decks of three uh, tarot decks. I was like, okay, it feels like more, but meh, fine. But now I have four, and my other one's in my other bag. I gotta go get it. Anywho, so it turns out, at least at the moment, um, a lot of Italian uh, homeowners or realtors are not too keen on hiring out or renting out to foreigners. 
So I wasn't able to stay, I had to come back. It was terrible. Now you guys know me. I'm like a really spiritual person, right? I'm all about, you know, following your heart, like listening, listening to spirit, all of that jazz, right? And so, you know, I got even kind of confused, not necessarily angry at spirit or my spirit guides. Um, just like, guys, I mean, isn't, wasn't this my path? Like, why didn't this work out? What's good? Like, why are you gonna lead me down this way? And like, set me up for failure type of deal. But no, it wasn't like that. I mean, it, it kind of felt like that, like at, as soon as it happened, cause you know, duh, like it, it's all your dreams not happening or not all my dreams, but a big one. And uh, it took that happening for me, one, to get kind of like, really like knocked on my path. It was like one of those terror, mo terror tower moments, you guys where it's like, okay, you might, like I was really heavy into my manifestation and making what I want happen, right? Heavy into uh, spell work and like the end of my magic spells to make this happen. And like, yeah, I got there in the city I wanted, ended up living there for like those two weeks. Um, but um, it wasn't meant to last. And though that confused me at first, it did make me think. Cheers to making you think. Okay, we're gonna need my other deck. I'll be right back. We're back, we got it. Now y'all, uh, don't excuse this tarot deck, okay? It's a she and busted. <laughs> um, it's the deck I've been like kind of using for the past hell, a couple weeks, I guess. Um, Cause I mean, all my other decks were like, you know, you just saw they're packed away and, and this one was just the easiest to grab, so. Um, I'm gonna put it to the side. Of my tarot over here. We have my music deck about that and boom. Okay. So um I like you know was really trying to get into you know understanding what the hell has happened <laughs> and like which way I'm gonna go forward or like what's the best way to move forward or something like that, right? Um all we need to light the sage for our intention setting. So I guess, to say long story short, yeah, it did suck, but I did learn that, you know, I wasn't necessarily walking on my right path. I mean, I am, and like I needed to go through that to kind of get into the right direction, I guess. You know, the right position. Because um, I do aspire to be and do a lot of things, right? And I know a lot of people do, but there's a certain, you know, um, process to make those things happen and me I was trying to rush that uh, and it didn't work <laughs> uh, so it's meant to happen later and I'm fine with that because there are actually more things coming for to me and for me now you know um which I guess I'll explain as we continue but for now let's like the intention and set the intention sorry all right Lord God we ask the sage clean this space Cleanse our might, minds, body, heart, and souls. Open everything up for a beautiful, honest, and open reading. Mm. Okay, so usually you guys, you know, I do like my white sage, but um, we out. This is, oh crap, what is this? <laughs> I think it's vanilla. Um, I just like found it in a drawer. Anywho. Okay, um, let's see, for our piles, um, let's do our star spinner, we're gonna choose, I guess, four, okay, I don't know if the angle's gonna stay like this the whole time, I don't know if I'm gonna uh, hold up cards for you guys, you know, um, if you're new, we kind of just let the reading happen as it goes, usually, I have my card angle, I mean card angle, my uh, camera angle down so you can see the cards easier, but I don't know, I'm kind of feeling this. This for now at least, right? Spirit thing, the pile two. Ooh, okay. Pile three. Ooh, it's coming pile three. I mean, if you're making, maybe if you think you're gonna be number three. There it is. Okay. Nope, not all of these. 
Let's spread everything out, yeah? Let's get some space. I think you guys, some of people are needing more space in their head. I think a lot of, of people may be re uh, <laughs> reading right now, um, or watching right now. Um, maybe you are reading right now <laughs> when I'm playing in the background. Hey! <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, anyway, but I think there's something, a lot of things going on in your mind. Maybe a lot of clutter. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting things that are making you maybe not like fussy, you know, or maybe what's to say, like, you know, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Maybe like frustrated or something like this, or also kind of. Like, okay, should I do this? Should I do that? Am I going the right way? Like, what's the right steps here? Like, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling, like, just frustrated right now. Like, this is, like, the energy, like... And it's all kind of things that you're thinking about. Things that you're trying to plan. Um, how to go right... How to go the right way, right? How to move about in the right way. The right place and time and stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm shuffling stuff. So, pile one, we have the Knight of Wands. Our nice fairy guy here. Pile two, we have our Ten of Pentacles. I you just love this card. And then we have Pile three, or Group three, so I guess, I keep, I say Pile because of like other readers and I, I don't even have Pile yet. Anyway, Group three, we have the four, right? No, six. The Six of Pentacles in reverse, but here she is upright. Does it kind of remind you of like Alice in Wonderland? Because it does for me. Five of Swords in the uprights. I love the like colors on this one. I urge you to choose one that you see yourself in, okay? Um, if you already are adept at using your intuition to choose a group, then you know, don't mind me, like, do what you gotta do. But if you're like, you're like, I don't know how to choose this dang pile, well, where do you see yourself, okay? Because at the end, that power will be for you. Don't worry about how it's gonna happen, how I'm gonna get the message, but do you see yourself in the Knight of Wands? Do you see yourself in the Ten of Pentacles? Do you see yourself in the Six of Pentacles? Or do you see yourself in the Five of Pentacles? I said swords earlier, my bad. Five of swords, that's usually a victory over um, a certain mentality or a certain type of dogma. Maybe even a, your your own mental voice and you taking more control of that. Um, okay, so I, think I needed to say that message for that uh, Five of Swords. Anywho, so if you are Pile 1 or Group 1, I will see you soon. And if you're in the other groups, go ahead, go ahead to the um, uh, description box down below. I'll have your timestamps there, okay? Bye! Alrighty, group one, our Knight of Wands. So, if you've already been in the choir, you and Angel, you know how we do here. Hold on, let me move my sage. I'm almost, uh, got bumped onto the... Dang, it did get in the group on the tablecloth. Anywho, I'm not gonna watch it anyway. Um, hi. <laughs> Sorry. Um... If you are new, welcome. If you're returning, love you guys. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate you so much for being here. I do. And if you're new, stick around because hey, who knows what's gonna happen? But let me get my spiel, you guys. Let me get to my spiel. So what we do here first is a vibe check. Okay, I'm gonna um, pick up the vibes I get from the card you chose. Usually I have my charms as well. I don't have them right now. Um, they're in the other room, and I don't feel like getting them. <laughs> so we're not gonna do them today. Um, we're gonna stick with this. And if, you know, what I get resonates with you, awesome, bet you're in the right place, stick around for your reading. If that doesn't quite sit well with you, then that's fine, maybe you chose the wrong pile, it's alright. Go ahead and choose another one and get your reading, okay? Um, or another video if you like. So without further ado, cheers <laughs> to your reading. Mm. Okay. Now usually I would have some, um meditative music on right now, like in the background. But for some reason, I'm getting for your path of clarity, oh my. Let's see, what is it? So I see kind of uh, spirit, your guides, your angels, uh, a lot of, you know, these light beings around you, I think are trying to send you some signs actually. I think they're trying to guide you along this right path or make you see or hear. Um, 
you know, what they have to say or to trying to show you. You know, I'll be trying to show you things in your everyday life, like something like deja vu, maybe it's a dream. Um, maybe some things are recurring for you, some things keep on repeating for you, maybe certain situations, certain happenstances, right? Maybe you see the same car over and over and over again or the same train set for some reason, I just got that in. Um, maybe the sunlight, also the way you see the sun is um, kind of different. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe the way you perceive light is different than some others. Maybe this is a gift for some of you watching. Um, maybe the way you see light can maybe change things or tell you things. Or the way you see light... Yeah, someone has a message for you. I don't... This is interesting. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of valiance within you. A lot of courage for you to take off and take flight right you know into uncharted waters into charted waters into just kind of like following the following the beat of your own drum not even necessarily marching but like just following whether that be marching walking running swimming however that feels right for you um in fact some of you guys might need to get out more <laughs> Um, do some more physical exercise, meaning that too. Moving this body, moving your body. Listen, I know like we are like kind of like inhabiting these meat sacks we call bodies, right? And it can feel easy to be detached from that. You're just kind of doing what your mind wants to do, what you're thinking of, but not really listening to your body, right? And so, one, but you know, both are connected. Um, even though the mind can, you know, control the body and go over the body, of course, um, the body itself still, you know, speaks. Um, whether that be, you know, your liver, your kidneys, your stomach aches, certain itches, certain aches, you know, your body will speak to you and it's a good, it's a good choice to listen to that, okay? Um, whatever it needs, you know, giving your body what it needs. Because this is going to bring about a new type of health for you as well. Bring about more, just you feeling better, you feeling more yourself, feeling more courageous, brave, um, energized to do what you want to do, you know, um, what's the word, inspired even, you know, be creative and do things. I think you are supposed to be very creative and create more things now. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what else is coming for your reading. Um, subgroup so one, if that has resonated with you so far, awesome. Bet you're in the right place. Stick around. If not, that's not what you're thinking. If that's what you're asking about, if you had a question, go ahead to another pile, okay? Or another group. I'm gonna practice anger. We're gonna use your mirror cards, I know this. I don't know why or when or how, but we're gonna use them, okay? Spirit, can you more cards, please? Because this is kind of making sense. <clears throat> what has fallen to the ground? Ah, the Wheel of Fortune has fallen for you. Okay, ooh, interesting. Ooh, ooh well, sorry, I just saw that when it flipped. Okay. Now y'all know me, or if y'all have been following me, um, we do like usually at least like eight to ten cards. Um, maybe we'll do them more, but let me just read these for you first. Or let's do let's get more. Yeah, actually, let's do like this. Okay, I know y'all can barely see anyway. <laughs> um, y'all know me like, or if y'all have been following, you know like this the order of the cards, arranging them, rearranging them. I don't know, man. It just feels right. Mm -hmm. Ending off with the four coins or pentacles in reverse. That's good. That's good. It's kind of making decisions on what you're going to do for your future. Like, that's how this is ending. Oh, by the way, if you're here from the previous video, I know in that one we're like, going to do a... Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, 15 minutes, like, for each pile, but I don't know, since I've been gone for a while... Oh, wow. Um, sorry, these fell on the floor. This was there, and, like, this one was hiding underneath. So we're gonna have them like that. And I'll tell you the cards as we go, okay? But, um, since I've been gone for a while, like, I want to give you guys more than I would have originally. So, uh, one moment, please. Mm. You guys, tea is so good. Okay. I'll say I put a bit too much sugar in that one, but we like to have some sweet things around. Okay. So for your first row, you received the Knight of 
cups, the nine of wands, the king of wands, and the wheel of fortune. Okay, this one fell for you as well as these two. That could have been me. This one was me clumsy. This one it was it meant something. <laughs> Um, when you read as long as I do, you know what happens and when and why and how. Okay. When it happens, I guess. Okay. So it's almost like it's following your heart going to end up with you being success successful, being what you want, right? Where like, it's following your heart like the right decision, but like, is it going to end up you know, is that the correct choice? We're gonna be happiest when you do this. Like, is it silly? Is it naive? Or is it really what you're supposed to do? What you're meant to do, right? What you wanna do. There's a lot of um, pas passion and stuff like pent up. You know what I'm saying? Like, things that you really wanna do, that you wanna try, but you haven't. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's like, just like in there in your head or like, it's like spinning around in there. <laughs> I wanna do this, I wanna do that, but no, I can't, or I don't have time for that or whatever, right? Well, the question, the challenge for you is how much worth do you place on your dreams? That's coming in here with our Wheel of Fortune that has fallen, our Page of Cups with the Five of Cups underneath. Five of Cups in this one, right, it's almost like taking a leap of faith. Um, you know, you might not understand how everything's going to pop up or happen and you may not be able to plan for everything and make it happen as the way you want it to and that can be very uncomfortable right that can make you feel like you know kind of like out in the woods up in the air like is this even right am i doing right like what's going on um you know it can leave you discombobulated <laughs> and that's not a fun feeling you want to feel secure right you want to feel secure with our four of coins um in reverse but we'll get to that later mm. Feeling secure will require you ha having more faith, not only in yourself, but in spirit, in the world, in your spirit guides. You know, you're not alone in this. You can do this alone if you want to, but you know, there's no reason for this. Um, at least not in your pile, like for this reading for your life right now. Like there's kind of this urge this encouragement for you to be like, hey, you know, you are very amazing. You're very smart. You're very talented. You're very skilled. Um, you have a good amount of experience with what you're trying to do or what you want to go into. And I think you even have more of that inner oomph to like, you know, no, I can do this. And even if I'm like an amateur right now or new, I can work and I will work at it to where I can be masterful, to where I can be successful, to where I can compete. You know what I'm saying? So you can be, yeah, successful in that endeavor. But the Wheel of Fortune, oh right, by the way, so this is, it's good news in the end. But I think spirits encourage you to be like, do you not place so much value in your dreams? Do they not matter to you? So will you not like work on them? You know what I'm saying? You can want something a lot and really believe that it's for you. But if you don't do anything about it, nothing's going to happen, right? Um, so encourage yourself this way. Be like, no, I want this so much because it matters to me. You know what I'm saying? It matters to me so much that I will decide to do this. That I'm gonna go to that class, I'm gonna start that project, I'm gonna start writing that whatever, you know what I mean? Talk to these people, join this group. Um, follow this movement, right? Um, become, become an actor. So I think maybe someone wants to become an actor or um, some, type, some type of action as well. So take an action because of a certain situation. Maybe something's happened to you and you feel like you have something to say about it. Um, maybe you have words to talk about, maybe a certain idea to talk about, um, a plan, you know, maybe you need to have a meeting or something, maybe you need to, uh, have a seminar or talk to some people about some idea, maybe an investment, um, what is it, what's going through your head, almost like this big plan you have, like you're planning out how you're going to save this, maybe what you're going to wear, how you're going to do your hands, um, people here yeah it's kind of in your head you can kind of that's kind of almost, almost like a manifestation in your head and a good technique by the way like like really envisioning something in your head almost like using the sims you know the sims game like if you want something to happen or like 
Like, you can use The Sims as a manifestation tool, you guys. Um, you know, you see how it's playing out. What would this person say? How would they say it? What would you do in response to that? Um, however, staying in your head will not make this happen. You must actually pursue some type of action. You know, the Four of Cups in reverse is giving you more of a sense of you keeping this all to yourself, right? There's a lot of good things, a lot of um, good ideas, but you're not letting it come through. You're not expressing, right? Maybe because it will be feel dangerous or make you feel vulnerable or like maybe you're scared of it not happening. You're afraid of disappointment, right? But if you, that's then you won't move at all, right? Have the courage. You are the Knight of Wands. You have that, that that deep fire, deep passion within you for a reason. Follow that because you're meant to do it. When you feel it so strong within you, that is spirit placing it in you to pursue this. No one is like you, you know? Everyone has their specific, unique place amongst this world. There is specific, unique vibration here that we all need, I need, that your family needs, that you need, your community. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's like, to share with the community, right? We have three more cards, maybe four, and then we're gonna give you some oracle cards as well. Um, you know, just to give you some more information or more insight. I think also maybe some advice and directions or uh, actions to take next steps. Let's see, spirit. Four, three, please. I think that's the month we're going to get, you guys. Ooh, it's gonna be uneven, but okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Two of Pentacles in reverse, right by that wheel of fortune, and here she is again. So, how are we gonna set these steps down to create an actual physical foundation, right? And a set plan, a reliable plan. Mm hmm. That's not gonna just kind of fail or like you end up trying for nothing. Which by the way, please don't be afraid of failure. Shoot, I went, I hopped the whole country. I spent so much money <laughs> and it did not work. <laughs> and I'm sat back here, but I wasn't afraid of failure and I'm not afraid now. And honestly, I don't even really count it as a fail because you know, I'm headed towards where I'm supposed to be going, what I really want, you know what I mean? And a lot of your situations, a lot of our situations end up She's back. Um, you know, when you're unhappy with something, when you're in that type of situation, you end up usually going through something or doing something that, you know, when you eventually get to a point, will push you along that right path. If you have enough faith, if you are patient and you listen, you know, don't fall into the blame game. Don't be like, oh, is it my fault? Or is it their fault? Is it spirit's fault? Take your reality as a blessing, as a lesson, be like, well, you know what? Why am I here? Like in this place or like at this point in my life, what does this mean? Is it a reflection of you or your, you know, capabilities? Or is it kind of like, you know, a message or a sign saying, hey, maybe this is not for you. Maybe, no, it's gonna be three. Um, I was like, maybe four by three for sure. Um, Sorry guys, uh, I was channeling and then I uh, distracted myself. When you open yourself up to this type of thinking, you end up, yeah, being pushed along your right path. Friendship. Okay, really fast, because the next cards, these next cards will be, okay, they're called the mirror cards for a reason. Usually, like I use them for just regular oracle, but these, the next few that I pull will be a mirror of your soul. So really fast. Okay, you got the page of wands in reverse. Here he is upright. The seven of pentacles, or coins as it is in this deck. And the nine of wands, love her with friendship. Bella Donna, Bella Donna. You're so beautiful. Um, I think the people around you want you to know this. 
the people that love you want you to know this, the people that see you, not just see your physical outwards, but your inwards, that you are very beautiful, right? That you're a beautiful soul. What does that mean? You want to give good amongst earth, right? Amongst people, amongst the creatures. Um, giving of yourself, allowing of yourself to be a blessing amongst others. This is a beautiful thing, a beautiful energy that it, it comes from your very pores, right? Not even even trying. If that's like your inner energy, your inner soul, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's something you might have worked on for a while, you know, that, that you have to grow with, you know, to grow into this energy, into the being you are now that has so much love for yourself and others, right? Giving other people the benefit of the doubt. Learning how to forgive in the right way. Not just letting go, be like, okay, that happened, whatever. It's like, you know what? This happened. Let me learn what I can from this. Let me understand why the other party, the other person, or why this happened in the first place. Let me take that and gain that wisdom so that one, it can't happen again, or if that situation does happen again, you'll know what to do and end up in a better place for that. Cheers. Others, there is a group of people meant for you um, that will end up pushing you, that will end up pushing you towards this dream of yours to make the right steps, to do the right things. Who do you need to talk to? You need to talk to certain people. There's certain channels here um, you need to speak to. Some of it's friends to give you advice. Some of it's um, a family member or two, like an older grandfather. Um, maybe an aunt, an older aunt, someone who owns their own business, I think. Someone very entrepreneurial, a uh, very self-made person um, who owns a lot of things maybe or, own, or has a lot of money. Um, just very good business sense, very logical person, reliable and practical in a matter that doesn't necessarily mean you can't live your life, they still want you to be free. Um, here, there's someone else you need to speak to that will fuel your fire, kind of like build your passion, be like, yeah, you can do this, or heck yeah, I thought the same thing, or have you ever thought about that? Oh, why don't you pursue this? Someone like your cheerleader that you need to talk to and pursue. Uh, maybe someone you haven't spoken to in a while, maybe like a cousin or somebody, maybe a friend you haven't spoken to in a minute, um, but maybe they're pursuing the same thing, maybe you see yourselves in them, maybe you might have similar life path plans or life changes or something like this, but they're gonna help you out. Um, okay. Your next soul mirror cards. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Two. Two, two, two is an angel for you now. Angel number for you now. Um, Maybe an angel too might come out for you in this reading. Um, we're almost done. Group one, we're almost done. There's one more message for you, or one more mirror for you. I think I might be able to see it for you, okay? Um. Well, I think, okay, let me just say. <laughs> um, we have spontaneity. In reverse, 28, we have action, number two, and then huh, another number two, trust, number 29, yeah, 222 for sure. Um, guys, I'm like so psychic. Anyway, <laughs> no, but overall, um, please look at the 222. This message for you now is, ah, uh, yes, you know, there are many labels for 111, 333, 222, but I will only sway you in the correct way, in the most correct way I can for you, okay? And the original 222 angel number meaning, we can, they can place more meanings on it, but the angel number meaning is it is time for you to create a divine decision. The divine Holy Spirit will never um, force you into something. Angels will never force you into anything. We'll always just encourage you to follow your path, right? And like, um, um, what's the benounced blessings onto you? Like, you know, um, have blessings come onto you for your path, right? However, it's as you create as you create these choices and make these choices. Um, for this is part of your destiny, you know, and part of your blessings, right? Being able to create your own destiny, write your own fates. Um, 
in a sense. Mm -hmm. And that is the fork in the path right now. What are you doing? What are you going to do? And this type of muddling of your mind is, uh, is a result, an effect of you not listening to your spirit, listening to your body of what just feels right, what feels natural, what feels good, that sparks you like this, that makes you feel like this, you know? Sparks. Because maybe what you're doing right now, it's not there. You know, that the spark isn't there, the feeling isn't there. Maybe it's good, but I don't know. Something's missing, right? Hmm. So it's time for you to take action in trusting spirit. <laughs> maybe it's hard for you to see who or what spirit is. I can give a shape for you. Um, imagine fabric, like a sheer fabric, very light and delicate. Um, in, in fact, it, you could say it glows even. It it's, is its own light. Imagine this fabric woven out of threads of light, right? These threads are the purest things you can ever imagine, okay? And not only does it wrap around you and your entire being, and it's it's soft and it's light and it and it expands among everything. It covers, softly covers everything, right? Um, so long as you choose to be wrapped in it, you know what I mean? Um, and it's good and it's light and it can be hard to trust something that good, right? Something like that, you know what I'm saying? It can be hard because, you know, a lot of what we see in this world, a lot of what we live, right, goes against that. And that is because there's, you know, a whole battle right now between good and evil and spirit and demon and blah, blah, blah. But, but how do you come into it, right? Well, do you choose to believe in the good that can happen or the bad that can happen? You know, those worlds can be full of what ifs. So choose the what ifs that be like, you know, what if this can be good? What if I can do this? What if this person does say this, you know? Instead of, oh well, what if it doesn't happen? What if I don't do this? Or what if this happens, you know? There's a moving in fear and a moving in faith, right? When you start to move in faith, your spirit sings because it's all connected. You're part of spirit too. This beautiful white pure light is you too, you know? Choose it, act on that, and see what happens. See how strong you get. We will leave a few Bible verses for you now, and then that'll end your reading, okay? Oh my. Hi! <laughs> okay, I think maybe one or two more. We'll give it a few more shuffles, and if nothing pops out, we'll leave it at these. First one, Joshua 1, 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. Discouraged, For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. What were we just literally talking about, guys? I cannot make this up. I'm sorry. I literally can't. Next one, Isaiah 58, 11. The Lord will guide you always. Guys, always. When you just trust in spirit to let it happen. Uh, always. Just let it happen. Philippians 4, 7, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> um, even though you might not be able to understand everything or maybe not fully like comfortable or used to like moving with moving in faith, moving in spirit, just continue. It's not going to be easy at first. It's not. I will not lie to you. Um, and I'm the most like faithful spiritual person you can meet. Um, it's not easy at first and sometimes it isn't easy. Sometimes still to this day, I'm like, okay, seriously, is this really how it's supposed to be moving? What I'm supposed to be doing? I know, but continue on and I promise you, it's the promise of spirit that you will end up so happy and end up on the correct path that is right for you, that feels right and that is good. I promise you, okay? Um, 
Alright guys, with that, I will see you later. Um, if you have subscribed, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for sticking around and believing in me. Um, I believe in you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know, consider joining the choir, be an angel, become one. Hey, we're all good here. <laughs> and I'll see you later, alright? Bye! Hi group two, welcome to your reading. My name is Angel and we like to do here first is a vibe check. So if you've already been here, uh, hey Angel, welcome to the choir. What's good? You in it? Wait, you in it? Okay. Um, you already know what it is. I love you. Um, so hold one second, okay? If you haven't been here, if you're new, hi, welcome to the page. Um, we do a vibe check. So what I get from the card that you chose, the Ten of Pentacles, right i'll read this your energies and whatever i get if that resonates with you awesome you're in the right place stick around if not that is completely okay you can always use another pile or another video already um so without further ado everyone let's get into this you've been making big plans group two i'm talking dynasty plans you're talking about these are things that you want to last for a long time. Um, whether it's with your job, whether it's with your family, getting married with kids, excuse me, with making an investment, with opening a business, starting a home, opening a home, maybe even opening an Airbnb, a couple people, uh, uh, leasing out a car or renting out a car, something like that too as well. Um, oh, even getting a pet, yeah. Um, a lot of you people, a lot of you people, I don't know why that sounds like so pointed to me, but a lot of you guys are, um, making plans right now or at least wanting to make plans right now that will be long lasting that can end up you know growing over time um in in value in quality in money if that's what it is monetary value as well some people are even considering going back to school or going to school maybe maybe one or two people are, are graduating soon or will graduate soon but I have uh, I know there are people considering going back to school, going to a class or two, um, getting a certification, or just getting maybe an event on a master's degree or something like this. Um, yeah. See these trees? It's like planting seeds that grow into these beautiful trees, right? Big, big stuff here. Big plans. Things that you can be proud of. Things that your family and your friends will be proud of as well. We're gonna keep this card out actually. Um, I think it's gonna be maybe the first or second one. We will see. Yeah, I guess we're gonna use a star spinner again. Pile one was, um, the, oops, sorry, I'm not focused. <laughs> Pile one was star spinner as well, so. I don't know, you know, usually, well, I don't know about usually, but often enough, different piles get different tarot decks, you know, because who knows? <laughs> Spirit knows. Um, but you guys are getting same let's see so you know i'm kind of getting the message that a couple of you are from pile one so hi but if you are from pile two i'm not necessarily getting that you need to go see pile one um i think maybe it's just pile one for pile two if i do get the message that you should see ah uh, yes um on here that you should see pile one group two um then i'll bring that forth for you, okay? Mm. Like this. Okay. Honestly, there are more cards for you that we will pull. So, really fast, we'll do this first group and then we'll continue along to the second group or uh, line. You have the tower. Okay. You have the two, oops, the pinnacles, right? And you receive the knight of wands. We will read these in relation to the um, bottom row, okay? So I'll say them as we continue. Oops, hold on, really fast. Cheers! <laughs> Stay hydrated, y'all. Please though, for real, drink a lot of water. Water is this, is the world, the bodies, everything, spirits, natural filtration, natural cleanser, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's time to clean some things out. That's what our tower is telling us. It's time to cleanse your mind, right? 
How are you going to make this relationship work? How can you push yourself to be the most successful? Okay, I'm sorry, there's a lot of questions here. Um, are you headed in the right direction or like, should you leave something that, should you leave a path or a job that you don't like right now? It doesn't feel right. You're not able to be yourself or be creative here. Maybe some people are not even able to take time off for themselves. Maybe they're working too much. Sorry, Um. okay, really fast, I'll just say. This is the chariot, okay, but you have it in reverse. Hi cats, I love cats, do you love cats? Like some people here really do love cats. Maybe you feel like you are a cat or your spirit animal is a cat. Um, maybe something feeling like a tiger, you know, or a panther, leopard, lion, but for sure some, some cats are here. <laughs> Five of swords. The nine of wands, no, ten of wands and the lovers. Okay, and then we have the empress. Okay. We have a lot to say for you, group two. For one, I think you're smarter than you give yourself credit for. You really are very intelligent. There's a lot of um, mind processes here, maybe even quick process, you think quickly, that help you make decisions, right? Maybe you may help you make decisions quickly. And I think there's some people here that, you know, bonk their wisdom. They're like, oh, you know, I made this decision quite fast, so, you know, maybe I didn't make the right one. <laughs> or maybe I'm not making the right decisions. Or like, should I think about this more, right? Hmm. Maybe you're weighing pros and cons, right? Of how you're going to make this a long lasting thing. We have our not 10 of wands with our 10. I keep wanting to say nine of wands. So really fast. I know there's a lot of determination here, right? Your determination, you want to be targeted in the right area. The right area is self-love, okay? Regardless of what other people want from you, what other people expect from you, even if it's your own family, your own partner, your own children, um, you have to come first. You have to, because there's no one else that can come before you, because you have to exist. You have to live, you have to be healthy, alive, and happy to be able to, you know, actually enjoy this world and do what you need to do, right? If with full force, if you're not giving yourself what you need, then you won't be able to fall, fall along or follow along the path of blessings that's meant for you. You'll choose things that resonate with a, a lower vibration. What does that mean? Um, um, doubt, fear, anxiety, depression. The, when you are in these type of moods, you make decisions kind of based off of those. Um, most people, not everyone, there's some people here that can, you know, differentiate emotion and, and um, logic and mind or whatever, but that's not easy to do all the time. That's not easy for everyone. It's not, it's normal for some people. It's not normal for, for others. It's normal for others not to feel that. Everyone's different. So please do not judge yourself for others. Um, but no, at the end of the day, you have to come first because at the end of the day, you have you. You're born alone, you're gonna die alone, sorry. <laughs> Shoot, unless you're a twin born at the exact same time, but that doesn't happen. So, um, let's see. Right. Hmm, this is a little bit, a little bit mixed in with pile one. So I think pile one, this is more reiterating message for you. Pile two, I think you need to have for sure more faith in your angels to carry you where you need to go. See, hey. There's more, I'm so sorry, there's a lot more. For some people like who's in a car, driving a car, something like that, maybe you are. Um, there's something about a direction you're headed that's wrong or you're not going the right way and maybe you need to head left or right or something, I don't know, that just came in. Um, something if you're driving a car, you're going a certain way, you need to go the, you're going the wrong way or you need to head into a, a wrong way or a different way, a detour. You need to take a detour or something, I don't know. Um, I got the message of showering as well. So maybe if you are showering or going to shower or someone is showering, um, what is it? Take that time to relax. 
Take that time to relax your body and mind. Maybe you don't let yourself, maybe you let yourself think too much in a shower. Or doing a lot of chores, you are doing too much. Doing, there's a lot on your plate. You have a lot of multitasking. You're doing too much at the same time. You know, there's too many energies influencing you, right? Too much coming onto you, too much on your plate, too much on your shoulders. That will end up in you falling or pushing you to fall. Um, pushing you to the brink, actually, to choose yourself. But this is the blessing. If you are going through this hard time right now, right? It's like spirit, like kind of being like, we're letting this happen. So you can be like, you know what? <laughs> Bunk this. I'm going to choose what I want to do. Finally. Um, maybe it's finally going on a vacation. Finally just eating like something that you've been really craving for a while. Or maybe just getting some alone time for once, you know? You haven't been letting yourself feel your full power. You know, the Empress, um, she's one of my personal cards, like, um, every time I get a reading, it's, <laughs> when it's for me, Empress always pops out. So please, um, if you have been in tarot for a while, uh, maybe at least for a year, or, like, been watching for a year, I would urge you, and Spirit urges you to select a card or identify yourself with the card so that you may be guided better in the future. And there can be more than one. For me, I have uh, three to four cards that I you know, like when they pop out on a reading, I'm like, okay, this is for me. I need to just go and pay attention to this. Let me listen, okay? And for me, it's like the Empress, Hangman sometimes, usually when it's in reverse for some reason, don't know why. Um, high Priestess, and what was the other one? Empress, High Priestess, Hangman in reverse. And I think that was it. Sometimes Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, but whatever. That's I think those are my big three. Anywho, so you can have a big three. Oh yeah, the Hermit. That was kind of me before, but sometimes, sometimes still pops up now. Like, hey bitch, listen. So anyway, I think this is Spirit saying, hey bitch, listen. <laughs> um, <laughs> cheers to that. Cheers to listening. As I know, I know it can be hard to feel like I mean not self care, but no, for real. Self care isn't always just you know. <laughs> <laughs> chilling in the bathtub with all these bubbles and rose petals like yas that can be that's great but sometimes self-care is just going out to play a sport that you just really like just doing um pursuing a hobby or pursuing something completely new um you need to remove yourself for a second from this space so that you may see it from an overall angle an all-encompassing angle allow yourself to see the fourth dimension angle where you're not in it they're not even even spirits not in it look at this from a worldwide perspective how will your decisions now affect the world because they will and they do all the time always yes if not the whole world that you can see and experience now at least your own personal world right how how will your actions in your current state affect everything else around you. And whether it be good, bad, neutral, negative, however, chaotic even, <laughs> um, see how it will affect that. And if you are okay with that, right? Because you're very intelligent, um, my group too, to see these things and know these things, then continue along that path, right? With what you're doing, with what you're planning, even though it might be hard right now. Um, we will pull our Caroline Oracle for you now. Let's see, let's see what comes out. There, I must pull, um, are they, unless they're already in here. I know I have blank cards in here. Okay, yeah, they're already in here. I think for you, pal, to group two, um, there will be some answers coming out because some of my cards here, it's like I had to write. It's they're kind of messy, but you know, I have a yes, a no, I have a um, if you like it. Um, so I think that might come out for you now. So if, um, I think y'all, I can't plan everything because you know, it's spirit. But if you do have a question, please by all means uh, think of it now um, so that it could be answered. Uh, or at least I may help interpret the answer for you. Okay. You received the shadow attribute for scribe. A 
Okay, I'll read this for you first, then we will continue because I think I need to now. So, scribe, here it is. Okay. The... You can read the light attribute for you now. But I will read the shadow attributes. Um, altering facts or plagiarizing others' work. Mmm, altering facts. Covered in <laughs> the Lucifer's apple, right? False. False. What is it? Not in false engagement. False engagement. And false encouragement. Something like this. Either you, my dear pile two, are doing this, or someone else has, or you're in this. False promise, even. Goodness. Ugh. You received the fool as well as the visionary. You received the shadow attribute for the mystic as well as um, you received the avenger. One more. Okay, hi. What is it? Seeker. Light attribute. Um, with the lover's card in reverse. I know it's not the lover's card, but here it's the lover card. Um, and in fact, I'm kind of getting, what is it? Shadow attribute, obsessive passion that harms others and self-destructive devotion. Okay. It's almost like you see what the truth is, but you're afraid that pursuing that, pursuing yourself will make you, you know, sad <laughs> or cry or, or hurt others or hurt yourself. Something like this. Maybe hurt your family. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the stars for a moment with our shadow attribute for mystic, delusional rapper with the divine. You know, what shall I say? Because faith and moving in faith can be tricky, but please don't allow yourself to sway yourself. There is a certain person here, a certain type of person here Who's good at weaving illusions even for yourself right or like making yourself believe certain things or think certain things um or pursuing or per, per perceiving and pursuing messages of and from spirits incorrectly falsely and yet you might know this have a certain feeling about this that sixth sense feeling however you take it the wrong way and maybe even kind of do it on purpose because you maybe you want to manifest something different you know it's not happening the way you would want or the way you see you really plan out maybe it's not everything you want at the same time right and you know maybe you're like well what i want is good it's going to be good for me and good for others so why can't i have it in this way right but knowing like we said before look at this from a fourth dimensional perspective from every angle are you sure? Is this correct? Do you really believe that? Because listen, when you have that feeling of, but I don't know though, listen to that. I had that before. Um, oh my fat, my battery is gonna die. Um, traveling to another place, I kinda, kinda felt like, okay, this might not work, but I was like, I'm still gonna try, I'm still gonna try to make myself do this, and it didn't happen. It's supposed to happen, and probably what you're feeling is supposed to happen, yes. But at this time, at the, in the way you want it, you know what I'm saying? There's so much you control, and there is, there is so much you can control, but there's also so much you can control, right? It's a give and take, it's a push and pull, push and pull, being and yang energies. Mm -hmm. And here comes my little kitty. Yes, my cat people. <laughs> um, hi, honey. Um, <laughs> sorry, anyway. If you want to see here, come here, honey. We want to see you. And yes, she's all black. <laughs> so if an all black cat is your symbol, your sign, she's here for you. Hi! <laughs> okay, bye baby, go ahead. Anyway, so please follow along this. 
the right path. I know it may not feel like, like, oh, come on, like, this isn't everything I wanted, or like, is this really, like, really gonna be you? You know what I'm saying? Like, you may not feel 100% like confidence, but you will feel 100% right about it. You'll feel stable. You won't feel like, oh, no, but what if that or if that? You'll be like, you know what, I'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, hey, if this happens, I'll be fine, and this is okay, and I think I'll be okay with this. Am I gonna be 100% happy? I don't know. I haven't been there yet. You haven't been to the future yet. <laughs> it exists, it's there, but you haven't been there yet. That's that fourth dimensional thinking, right? That's like getting there. Be like, well, if I want this to happen, maybe I have to like do a certain way, do a certain things. And allow um, spirit to guide you. You know what, that message is kind of similar to group one. So, oops, I was about to go to group three. Well, um, we're gonna end it for you now. Actually, hold on. One verse for you, maybe two. Psalms 105, the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Okay. You're getting a message to be pointed somewhere. To do something, to do a direction, a call to action. We're talking about the stars, right? I think there's one or two people here. You know, with the endureth forever and then it's endless, it spans space and time. We will have a few signs for you now. And then it's over. Libra, your south node. Maybe you have a Libra rising or moon sign or it's in your south node. You could have the um, sun sign, but I'm not feeling that too much. Virgo, ruled by Venus. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Um, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I don't know where to begin. I think there are two more signs here. This one, Sagittarius. There's one more sign. One more sign. One more sign. Where is it? Which one? I don't know you guys. I don't know which sign is coming. Aries, here it is. Um, we have the moon in 11th house, so, but I don't care about this right now. I mean, if that's for you, if you maybe you have the moon in your 11th house, but I'm still studying um, houses, so I don't fully know what all that means. But our signs here are Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, and Aries. Maybe these are some major placements in your charts. Um, and for some reason, guys, I'm getting the moon as well, so maybe you're a Cancer or Pisces as well. Um, but Please pay attention, pay attention to the phases of the moon because I think there's a certain phase coming up now. Maybe it's a certain gibbous. Is it a waxing gibbous, you guys? What? I don't even know right now. But I'm getting this message now. It's a waxing gibbous and that's really important for these signs. I think there's a certain time of gaining of Jupiter energy to where it's like you're kind of prosperous, you know? Maybe good luck, like prosperous energy falling into this soon. Maybe we're going to get something soon or like get good news soon or something like this, you guys. A uh, blessing, you know, a blessing, a miracle coming through, something good coming through, good news for these signs. Mm -hmm. There will not be anxiety. Good times, see? Coming for you. Beauty. Mm. Beauty in yourself. Beauty for others. A time for you to hold heal in your own shell, even. Being practical, doing what you need to do, being responsible for yourself. Virgo is the servant, but also a servant unto themselves. You know, doing, being responsible for them and their path and what they need. Venus is all about beauty, right? Beauty of life, beauty of you, beauty of your soul. What is nurturing, what gives you nutrition, what brings you life. In Aries, having the courage to do that giving yourself the voice to do that. The courage in that voice, the strength in that voice. Okay. 
thank you so much group two for being here it was a wonderful reading um if you are a subscriber thank you so much for being an angel and joining the choir if you haven't join us we're all good here okay <laughs> but without further ado i'll see you guys later okay bye hi Pelsley. you guys were reversed weren't you mm -hmm. Guys, y'all are thirsty. I just got that. Some of you guys are thirsty. I know it. You trying to get it, trying to get a taste. I don't know why, but <laughs> sorry. Okay, first of all, look, if you are a returning subscriber, you are an angel. Thank you for joining the choir. My love for you. Uh, y'all know what it is. If you haven't joined the choir yet, hi, welcome to the page. What we like to do here is we get into the vibes, all right? I do a vibe check with the card you chose, and if that resonates with you, awesome, you're in the right place, so stick around, okay? If not, that's completely fine. You can always choose another pile or another video, okay? Um, but right now, I'm getting with this card, with you guys' energy, that there's something that you want, it's something that you really want, but you're not getting it right now. You're like, I kind of want this, I really want to get this, I want this so bad, but it hasn't happened yet. Maybe it's someone um, a person or something, maybe an object, or maybe a promotion. Excuse me. Wow, the energy's coming out. <laughs> um, so you really want this, yeah. Hmm. It's like, if you guys know the different chakras, it's like a lot of strong sacral, sacral chakra energy. It's like that passion, creative um, energy of like wanting to do this, that drive to do this can do this, you know what I'm saying, but not necessarily expressing it yet. See, it's in reverse. That's weird because I don't think the main meaning of the uh, six of coins is that. Um, I think it means something else. Hold on, let me remember slash read, guys. <laughs> Give me a minute. The six of pentacles. Um, it's almost as if you're investing, right? Investing in something new. It's a new investment. Maybe it's fresh on your mind or something like this, right? I think we're gonna use two decks for you. We're gonna use the African Pharaoh and my Star Spinner for you guys, okay? No. Okay, we'll shuffle though. We will split. We'll split the cards. Split, we will split. We gotta go. Some people have to go. Do you have to go right now? It's fine. Like. <laughs> Um, I'll see y'all later. Just pause me, come back. If you have to go from a situation, let's see what this happens. If you have to go after something, let's see how this happens. We have the seven of pentacles here, right after the six of pentacles, meaning um, with the six, seven, eight of cups. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. How will you be content in the choices you will make? I'll help you with this. And also the choices in choosing better things for yourself. Feeling content in this way, knowing that it was the right choice. It could have been leaving, leaving a certain situation or going towards an opportunity. There's something maybe even Giving yourself space from someone else. You have the devil. Yeah, maybe you feel like you're chained to them or a certain place, but you're not really. Maybe it really does feel like it. Maybe you're like, no, I ha I'm stuck here. I have to stay here. But the magic, the blessing behind the devil card is that if you really look closely at these chains, they're not tightly woven around these people, right? They're loosely woven. The devil himself is a masterful trickster. He's a masterful illusionist. I can tell you why, by the way. Here's the real tea. So angels, right? You know, they have certain abilities. One of those is creating certain like dimensions or like say spaces for people to be in, uh, whether that be safe from harm, whether that be, um, you know, um, being in the right place at the right time to receive a blessing. Um, or putting something in your mind or like kind of, you know, giving you an idea of something in your mind to do a certain thing or like make you feel a certain way or remember a certain place. Um, or, you know, offer hope and offer uh, 
uh, things that you can remember and know or experience to build faith, right? So when an angel falls, you know, those abilities kind of remain, but are, can be used differently and they twist and change, right? And so that's why the devil himself can create all these false promises for you um, or create these false situations for you and help you stay trapped and stuck. Um, because feeling trapped and stuck gets you to denounce what is good and what is right for you and makes you feel this way, make you feel like you can stay in this way, make you feel that you are doomed um, to be in this way, right? However the situation is. Um, and eventually that gets you to reject what is good. First you, den you denounce it, well, like, oh, it can't happen. And then you're like, well, you know, fuck the like, people or beings or whoever that can make that happen, right? You end up rejecting what is good for you. Um, and then if you stay in this negative energy, which feeds the devil, right? Or like that, the main negative energy, a big negative energy, if you don't resonate with the devil imagery, your word itself, that's okay. Um, we can do one more of these. Here, we have the, ah, uh, the seven of cups on the bottom. I had a dream. That was off key, but I got everything I wanted. You know, that, stuck, that, song, that song has been stuck in my head for a minute. Oh, I think it's for you guys. So that's by Billie Eilish. Uh, I think it's called Everything I Wanted. I mean, could have been a nightmare or something like that. I haven't heard it in a minute, but it's a good song if you want to check it out. But the message here is... Oh, wow. It's the first time I've noticed this. But you see that skull here on one of these cups? It's almost as if uh, the three of swords underneath. Okay. Number three. There are so many blessings that can that are destined for you that have your name on it. But the way you are now, the way you are believing now, they're not happening, right? They're in reverse. Um, what is promised for all these dreams, everything you wanted, right? The ten of pentacles, the ten of coins, things that last a long, that last for a lifetime. You know, that crosses the generations even. You know, high expense. You know, a big influence. Um, with the five of cups, yes. Okay, we have a lot of information here. Where to begin? Do you guys know that um, old theme song, that old Wings Club? Cheers to Wings Club. It goes, you know, close your eyes, open your heart, believe in yourself. That's how it starts. And that is so true for you, number three. Um, in fact, if you are into this vibe or whatever, you might be one of the fae, you might have a fairy like spirit very like soul energy where you have a lot of you know just playful and good energies to give to people and like little blessings to give to others you know little ways that you like to help others and make life easy for others things that you know your talents can help change for others you know that um the old uh uh tinkerbell movie um everyone's power or gift they were called talents right like what's your talent oh i'm a tinker what's your talent oh i'm a water fairy right so I, don't, I wonder what talents you have. Whatever talents you do have, they are meant to bring you all of these dreams that you have for yourself, right? You might believe that they are too much. You might believe that how you are now, that you're stuck, right? That so you can't pursue all of these things or you can't have all of these things. What are your skills, right? What have you done in the past for these dreams? What do you want? What are you wanting? List these out finalize this because when you do that it'll push you out of this devil energy of being stuck there's a I'm so sorry there's a block here I'm not getting through to someone what's real life right well like well that's not real life that's not reality or that I can't you know no I can't I, I, no I can't I'm stuck it's that big energy here. Okay. 
I will pull my angel cards for you so we, that we may offer you this path, right? So maybe there's something you can't see or not see. Yeah, maybe you're really wanting, yeah, man, this, this six of coins in reverse, like you really want something, go after something, but you can't, you're stuck. So, please always believe, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter where you're from, that there is good within you, come on. Like, and what does that mean, right? Where does that come from? That's a divine thing, divine good. You know, doing good just to do good is such a divine thing. And it feels so good. And just but not in it. Uh, what's the, begets good, you know, good begets good amongst others and for yourself, for your life. So how must you power three and we help you to increase this good? Mm-hmm. Angel of Vengeance. Okay. There's one more. Because there's a path here for you. Um, we will help you now. Okay, hold on. There might be one more. Um, in fact, okay, I don't know where to begin. Um, I will say, for one, you definitely have at least one or two angels within your uh, uh, guide team, for sure. Um, one is one of your guardian angels that just helps you stay safe and like alive. <laughs> Another one is helping you fight demons, right? Fight bad things, fight negative energies, fight the bad shit. Um, So, okay, I think maybe you can expect sometimes like these big signs, right? These big energies of like, you know, uh, boom, here's your sign from spirit. This is what you're supposed to do. Here's where you're supposed to go. We got you, blah, 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 right? But that's not how it works all the time. Spirit is not all the time a screaming trumpet. Sometimes it whispers. You know, um, there are different reasons for this, and I can't explain them for you, but maybe later. Right now, the Ma, the Angel of Dreams, right? Beside our Angel of Song, that is the Whisper. Um, and we will continue on to what, how you're going to start this and make this happen. First, it'll take you finalizing your reality. What does that mean? It means like writing out, drawing out, listing out with your words. Um, oh my gosh, my phone's about to die. I'm gonna have to pause this and continue later. Um, what is going on around you? And then you do that, write out how that makes you feel, okay? Are you okay with it? And then write out, what would you change? You know, small things you would change because it has to start small. I know everyone wants these like big things to happen. We want to do things big, but that's just not, you know, it's not, it's not healthy. You want to do these like, it's like trying to quit something just cold turkey. It's almost as if you're not giving yourself a chance to change and transform into a lasting um, being, like lasting product, you know? Um, you, can't, you can't just go from, a to C, you have to go to A and then go through B to get to C. Um, there are no shortcuts here. You will have to do a little bit of research and practice. I'm getting this for where you're trying to go, what you're trying to do, maybe even who you're trying to speak to. I may need to be afraid of being hurt, hurting yourself and making these actions, right? But if you see the dream catcher behind the angel's head, that is his halo, right? It is catching all that is bad, okay? Before it hits you. So whatever you are hit with, know that you will survive. You know, that is kind of <laughs> Sid McGill's mercy. It's like, yeah, you went all through this shit, right? But did you die? <laughs> like, you know, didn't you make it? Did you get through? You survived, right? You're welcome. God bless. <laughs> Especially by Argobur, that um, hand of judgment, right? And I'll hold them up for you. 
these guys I know can be pretty harsh, <laughs> pretty serious energies, but at the end of the day, it's what is good for you, what is right, and what balances the scales. It's not up to you to enact vengeance upon others. It is not. That is not the energy that you're supposed to work in. You are supposed to work in the energy of love, my dear pile of three. You're supposed to work in the energy of giving, right? And if you can't give love to a being or a process or an energy that, you know, and for some reason, um, then don't give hate. You know, don't just give the opposite. Give nothing. And then, and then, what's the word? Gracefully walk away. Gracefully fade. And know that you are headed on your own path toward your own destiny for your own happiness. And know that you're setting up that foundation for yourself to continue on. Right? And that will help your soul to sing. You know? What's right for you. I cannot... I wish I could be more specific for you, my dear pal 3, but there, you know, there are too many people here where I cannot say that. Um, all I can tell you is that for you to get out of the situation or go towards something that you really want, even if you don't believe it's true or might hurt others, know that the effect on others is not necessarily your responsibility to think about or worry about. What you're supposed to think and worry about, and not even worry about, is doing things that's good for you and end up good for others, okay? What's responsible for you, taking care of yourself, you know? Um, I know that your angels will always be with you and do not be afraid of prayer or just talking out loud. Even if you think it's silly, even if you don't believe, just say it out loud to see what happens, okay? We'll give you a couple of Bible verses and then I'll let you go. I'm gonna try to touch my phone. Because <laughs> it's like less than 5% right now. Because guys, like I never touch my phone, it's terrible. I'm not doing what I need to do. You guys need to do what you need to do. Or else you're not gonna be able to continuously do what you wanna do in other parts of your life, you know? It all connects, cause it's all you. It's all part of your existence, my love. It is. Cause I can't experience your life. No one else can except for you, right? So it's all you. We have Proverbs 24, 14. Know that wisdom is such to your soul. If you find it, there will be a future and your hope will not be cut off. What were we just, just talking about? What this whole reading is about? Romans 8, 37. Overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. Believe in spirit, believe in yourself and doing the work to make that happen. The victory is yours. It's going it's going to do the right thing. It's choosing the right thing and the right thing happens. Second Thessalonians 3.16. May the So sorry about that pile three or group three. Um, my phone died. <laughs> so let's reread your um last verse. It's Second Thessalonians 3.16. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times in every way. The Lord be with you all. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, and I think it's a great way to end off your reading. So I send you all love and light. And know that you are never alone. Oops, let's put these back to the center. Um, and I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye-bye. Hello, group four, and welcome to your reading. Um, now I know y'all like the angle has changed a little bit. Um, in the previous video, my phone died, so like I had to, um, yeah, you know, charge it and bring it back, and so now everything's kind of off center. That's how we do. <laughs> um, and if you've been here before, if you've already subscribed, hello and welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you for being an angel and joining of the choir. Now, if you are new, welcome here. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm Angel, and what we do here first is a vibe check. Okay, so I'm gonna read your vibes from what I get from the card you chose. Okay. And um, if what I say resonates with you, bet awesome, stick around, you're in the right place. Um, if not, that's always okay. You can always choose another reading or pick a different pile, okay? Oh, yeah, let me rearrange myself because now that like, my angles changed, <laughs> like I was placing myself in the middle, but my middle is different from the camera's middle. Anywho, before we begin, cheers. 
Mm, okay. I'm feeling two different things, actually. There's one channel or one option here where it's like you are trying to change your current reality or change the outcome of a certain situation like at this moment um but there's also another path here where things are kind of changing around you like almost like a tower moment but where you know things out of your control are happening around you or maybe you're having to wait on a certain situation um, before you can actually do anything in your current life, right? I'm getting a sense of maybe feeling unprepared for what could be or what could happen um, coming for the future, you know? Um, and I'm also getting a sense of... What is this? Of... Maybe like maybe this other sense or the other channel where it's like you know how capable you are as a person, right? Or as an entity or as a boss or maybe even as a parent um, with our little kid here too. Um, but for some reason, the situation you're trying to influence isn't being influenced the way you would like or the outcome isn't assured. Um, something like this, where you can't necessarily change the reality the way you like it. You're unsure, maybe, how what you're doing or what's going on around you is going to bring about a certain abundance, I think. Um, how you're going to be successful, right, with what's going to happen or what's happening now. Um, I'm also feeling like with the way that you're dressed per se like for some reason it's like not i don't know it feels like more like a costume i don't know like right now i'm getting this and she's wearing a costume she's not wearing like her normal clothes um maybe you feel maybe you don't feel like you can be fully authentic or you're fully yourself um maybe in the place you are or just who you are right now maybe you don't feel like you can be yourself around or maybe around others Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, hi. <laughs> group or no, yeah, group four. Thank you for being here. Um oh wow. Guys, okay, I did not remember like in the other piles that we used my star spinner tarot, but I don't think we did. I think we chose like um my um yeah, my original rider weight tarot, it's like over there. Um but let's see what spirit has to say for you. We'll pull four cards, maybe five. Um, and then we'll go from there. Okay, let me put this closer so people can see. Y'all, I know the angle changed. So, I don't know, okay. That's the nine of wands, by the way. That fiery energy to start off to begin with. Um, so if you guys know of, like, the chakras, right, or heard of them, maybe you've heard of the solar plexus one, and so if you want to know the color, it is yellow, and it's, it's kind of like, um, kind of like at the center of your being, like, kind of like between the, uh, bottom of like your rib cage like at the front and then above your navel you can kind of picture this energy this yellow type of light emanating from that place right and so what does that mean well it means the solar plexus the solar plexus chakra basically is the energy of expression right of uh direct physical manifestation cheers to that exuberance um strutting your stuff putting your money where your mouth is okay <laughs> it's kind of like letting your inner oh wow we have two with this one okay um inners inner like voices inner lights inner fashion shine through you know um 
I feel like we're not done. We'll pull more. Okay, so while I shuffle these more and while they come out. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, I was shaking the camera. Um, you also received the Three of Swords, the Magician, as well as the Queen of Wands. Matter of fact, let me do like this for you guys. So I feel like I need like some type of incline, you know? Um, okay. Sorry, y'all, since the angles changed, I need to change it up too. How I'm gonna do everything. I'm sorry, I can't see everything, okay? Okay, let me just get these cards and then we'll figure it out as we go along, okay? There's more answers coming for you. Maybe even a certain direction or a place to go. The five of wands. Okay. Two of swords. One more. Uno mas, por favor. Three. Should we take all three? Mm, I don't want to. No. <laughs> um, if you guys are thinking about relationships, those three cards just came out. It was like the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Uh, oh, and the Lovers. I didn't notice it stayed well. I don't think we should keep it. Yeah, I think it upright. That feels better. Okay. Guys, to be honest, I feel like there's even more information for you. We have the uh, Nine, right? Yeah, nine of swords in reverse for you as well. So I think we're gonna um, take away some of those things that just keep you up at night. Some of those insomnia thoughts. Insomnia cookies, do you guys know that place? Insomnia cookies, they have amazing cookies. Um, if you're eating those right now or on your way to get them, you know, give me some food. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, okay. Let me set this free so you can kind of see everything better. And y'all, I might and I might not <laughs> um, hold the cards up as we read, okay? Okay. So I'm kind of getting um, a similar energy like for this Queen of Pentacles as like this Queen here, right? I mean, queen of what? We don't know. But <laughs> she's not the Queen of Swords, however she got a crown, okay? And kind of similar to this energy here, you know, here I'm getting a lot of swords energy. A lot of my swords cards here are blue, you know. So something in your mind. Um, funny enough how she has a crown, right? Even though we already have a crowned lady in this coins suit. Meaning we have to focus on your crown chakra, what's going on in your head and listen to your intuition as well, especially mixed with this uh, magician here. The magician is a very spiritual card, especially in the tarot. Um, he is directly connected with divine and uses the energies and influence of divine messages to um, manipulate his reality, right? Same as what you can do, my group number four. Um, when you are moving or choosing to move in a higher power right choosing to move with the high road or with more wisdom um just things that are better for you right you tend to move in ways that aren't really um what's the word <laughs> not necessarily problematic but where it's like i don't know like, the word is like uh calm you know what like the opposite word of calm you're not sporadic movements no um immature unsure moves you're kind of going to do things that just make sense for you and make it makes you feel calm within your heart right so with this situation that's going on um you might need to just look inwards and be like okay what makes you feel more calm if something's making you feel more sporadic then that's probably not the one or the space that's meant for you be aware Sporadic energy is different from exciting energy, right? Or maybe even like nervous energy. Um, 
started to say, oh, I can do that, I can do this, I can do that, I can do this. Two of swords, right? All about, I can do this, I can do that, I can be this, I can be that. You know, too many options, too many going back and forth, right? Just, you know, not, it's not a stable type of, okay. I think this, I think this is what it's gonna be, or I think this is what's gonna be good for me, or I think maybe this is gonna be most probable for me. Maybe I can't necessarily, um, make this offer come to me the way I'd like. I can maybe expect it, maybe probably prepare for it. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm going to do, what I'm going to choose is going to be best for me and best for my future, knowing that spirit is with you always. You know, I know it can be kind of tricky, right? Um, with you when you have so many talents, so many passions, so many desires, right within you, things that you want to do, so many aspirations and dreams, I know, right, I know, it's all within you, but when you are pursuing these things, right, sometimes you're going to encounter challenges or, um, I guess, walls or obstructions, right, rejections that redirect you to what you're supposed to do, and I know it might not feel comfortable all the time, it may not feel like you know, assured all the time, like, yeah, this is what you feel, it's what's what's gonna happen, what you wanna do, and how it's gonna work, and you're all 100% into this, and knowing everything, like, it's just, that's not possible all the time, you're not gonna know everything 100%, you know, as wise as you are, as intelligent as you are, sometimes things are just simply out of your control, right, and so what can you control yourself, right, and control how you feel about certain situations and you can control what your own actions right what you're going to do coming forward so you know it's like spirit is saying well choose what just naturally feels more correct what naturally feels more secure you know take the source out of your heart because i think a lot of your mind mentality can affect your emotions you know a lot of times it's the other way around, right? Your emotions affect how you think, how you act, what you do, how you interpret other people um, in situations. Whereas this time it needs to be kind of the opposite or where it has been the opposite where your thoughts have been affecting how you feel, right? Um, and maybe has lessened your intuition, you know what I mean? Like lessened your inner voice, your just spiritual voice of like, just like, you know it's true, you know what's gonna, what's gonna be or know what's supposed to be how to walk that, right? We're gonna get a song for you. Um, guys, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure why because um, these songs, um, a lot of them have to do with like relationships and like love and stuff like that. But I think we're gonna get one or two for you. What is this? It's what the okay the artist is hood celebrity never mind sorry sorry guys here look it was spelled weird i'm like wait a minute <laughs> and then the song walking trophy i can take you to la we go shopping for the day i'm spending it all on you girl spending it all on you anyway dance hall vibes close the all of the night my crib close by we go we could like Good girl, tell me it's a go for tonight. Baby girl, you got the glow and the lights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's get the vibe from this. Because I mean, for one, okay, two different messages. One, I feel like if there are people getting ready for a date night, um, good luck, have fun. I think you're gonna have a great night on the town. I'm gonna think your partner really is thinking about how they're going to just have a great time with you, dance with you, whatever, or, Maybe your partner or like, you know, someone you're thinking of in mind is thinking about like going out with you like this, but that's just one message, okay? The other message. Spirit is watching you. Spirit is watching you. So don't feel like you're, oh, we had another flip. Um, excuse me, don't feel like you've been abandoned or like you're just being thrown out into the world or wilderness just alone. That's not true. Spirit wants you to know that you are very, very amazing. You know, like, excuse me, either you're an amazing person or you're amazing for getting through what you have gone through so far or just spreading wisdom um, to other people. They're very proud of you. 
and would like to offer you a lot of um, good situations to be in, good surroundings. Um, maybe a person or two to meet, like business-wise. You might be having an interview soon. One or two people. Okay guys, really fast. I think it's gonna be a lady in like in a white shirt with dark hair, maybe short dark hair or short like, shoulder length. Um, maybe I'm an office building. I don't know why that just came through, guys. <laughs> what the hell? But that's, I can kind of see her face. Um, I can see this lady. I don't know who this lady is for somebody, but I can see her wearing like a white shirt and then she has like dark hair, like shoulder length. Maybe kind of a little bit of body. Um, Maybe dark blue eyes or piercing eyes. It's just or or brown, maybe brown eyes. I don't know why that's coming through so strongly, but we're gonna let that go. <laughs> um, the other song you got was uh, "If I Ain't Got You" by Alicia Keys. Guys, I love this song. Some people live for the fortune. Some people live just for the fame. Some people live for the power. Yeah. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think that the physical things define what's within. And I've been there before. That life's a bore, so full of the superficial. Okay, this is kind of spirit calling on you to, first of all, look inward and, and realize and list or understand what is actually most important to you, right? You guys, if you know the song, the song's all about like, I don't need all these material things. I just want you, babes. But you know, for the read, I mean, if that resonates with you in your relationship, great, <laughs> awesome. But um, what I'm reading now is that, you know, you can be kind of striving for, you know, physical things, physical properties, physical ma uh, materials that a lot of other my people will commend you for, celebrate you for, and you know, be like, oh wow, you're doing so great because of, you know, look at what you got going on. Um, and that is a great energy to be in. Cheers. Cheers to the bag, okay. <laughs> but at the same time, you might need to realize, okay, like I'm doing all of this or working all of these ways to gain this type of um, material abundance and success, but maybe it's not making me super happy and maybe I'm kind of getting burnt out or maybe I'm being pushed towards a job or um, a career or something where it's mainly focused on material gain rather than spiritual or emotional gain, right? And you would feel that imbalance, that imbalance would make you in the end unhappy. Questioning your right path. We're gonna do, I think, two different Two more decks for you and then maybe three will be done um i'm pulling i'm feeling to pull this planet signs and uh what else numbers planet signs what else y'all houses <laughs> that's what it is planet signs and houses let's see i don't know how many cards are gonna come oops i wasn't paying attention guys that's why i dropped these i'm gonna i was looking at my cat <laughs> I just got a whiff of like cat food and I'm like, is that her breath? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to smell no cat breath right now as I do your reading. <laughs> you know, second house. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling a Taurus in a second house here. Um, also a Libra, a Scorpio in a second house. Maybe even a Sagittarius in a second house. Um... And you know, it's kind of funny that we're just talking about abundance and we have this second house of abundance card here, resources. I think it's gonna talk about how we're going, how you are going to uh, in, use who you are, your gifts to create or acquire this abundance. Um, hold on though, let's just continue. Especially if like you had those houses and like, I mean those signs in those houses. This is a maybe. Third house. Mm -hmm. Second and third house. Third house. Gemini energies. Ugh. Oh, we have Mercury. Wow, speak of Gemini. <laughs> Hi. 
Okay, sorry, I just fixed the camera. Should we do two more? Make it even Steven three and three. You know the number six? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, well we did have two more flip. Okay, these are not it, but we have this one and this one. Oh, my like, here's Gemini, hi. <laughs> Speak of the devil, okay. Let's see here. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, really fast, I just got a message. Someone has, uh, what's that star cluster uh, constellation? Is it Sirius or uh, Chiron? Chiron, I think it's one of those big ones. Someone here, by the way, if you're new, um, we are like super spiritual here. Um, if you've been part of the choir, first of all, can I just thank you for subscribing and being here? I love ya. Um, but if you've been with the choir and like you've been following me or like, you know, seeing a couple more of my videos, maybe other videos on YouTube regarding tarot, you would know a lot of people go into like star seed origins. Um, I think there's a couple of you guys here, um, or you might have guides from those planet systems such as like, or star systems, Chiron and Sirius. Um, oh, that just came through, sorry. Um, those are some of your guides, by the way, if, if that resonates with you, not everyone, but some of you, you know, when you know of or hear of um, your spirit team or, or spirit guides, you might automatically think of, you know, past loved ones or ancestors or angels. Um, not everyone, you know, remembers that you also have some alien peeps. Hey! <laughs> if you believe in it, great, that's you. If you don't, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not here to, like, force beliefs on anybody. But for those people who are like, I don't know about my spirit team. I feel like some of them are just like a different entity altogether. They here, hey. Okay, anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Let's get your messages. Cause we have a few here, quite a few. What is the true abundance for yourself, right? What is true abundance? What does that mean? Does it just mean a lot of money? Does it mean a good, healthy friend group? Does it mean a healthy and happy home? What does it mean for you? When you can define this for yourself, because I cannot, you know, there's too many people here. Um, I'm gonna just pick this one thing. Um, plants, even. Um, a lot of colors around you. Um, maybe artwork, right? Anyway, look at your skill set. Oh, I'm sorry, there's... There's a creative energy here. I don't know how many people, but there is. And what you need to create, you need to create these things. I don't know if you're thinking of creating a book or, or a YouTube channel or certain products and services or whatever you're wanting to make, maybe music, maybe a piece of writing. Um, whatever you're trying to create here, whatever you're trying to make, continue, continue, um, continue practicing, um, refining your craft. This will lead to abundance for you, and it's not just abundance of what is produced from this endeavor but it also will fulfill you internally and that is what's most important to you but it must be self-fulfilling or else what is the point right i mean of course what you're doing what you're creating is for the others you know the others so you don't have to worry about being selfish um you're creating a product or service for other people it's great maybe even a certain community right um maybe a certain group of people a certain groups of people one of them could be political meaning a political group or political um i don't know like um something like this <laughs> guys i'm sorry um 
there's some type of documentation that needs to be done, that needs to be made, set, or stamped to, uh, uh, you know, officialize or something like this in order to continue what you're wanting to create. Um, and maybe you've been avoiding that, avoiding that red tape, per se. Don't get me wrong, bureaucracy sucks <laughs> sometimes. It can be a lot, that red tape. Um, but no, it's for your benefit. The word sacrifice and benefit just screamed to me. So I think, let's get into what you might need to sacrifice for this benefit. Um, some time. You might need to sacrifice a lot of time in order to reap these benefits, right? Um, maybe even attain a little bit of hubris and knowing that you cannot know everything and can't do everything by yourself sometimes you know a lot of this documentation you might need to file on your own but you might need to realize that maybe you need to make sure that it's the right order the right people you know just to double check p's and q's you know what i'm saying like a cross your t's dot your i's stuff like this be accurate and thorough yeah make the right connections And don't spend too much money. You might need to move somewhere or pack something, packing things up, filing even. To talk to some certain people or, or go some certain place. A lot of you people might be very adventurous. You know, you might be doing a new job soon. If you would like a promotion, you're going to have to speak up and speak louder. If you think you need more money or deserve more money, you must make a step to do so because it will not just be simply offered to you. Because I'm seeing a lot of you guys are really good hard workers, but maybe you don't feel like you've been getting the correct compensation. Yeah. You might need to create some type of argument or make a certain argument for yourself or for others here. Consider all sides of an argument before you can really present yours so that when you are, when you are challenged, you have already um, mentally thought of what the other side would, would say or going to say, right? And so you can come back with a, okay, well, I already, you know, or here's what I say or here's what I'm thinking of that. So you don't have to... I guess waste time with 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 the other party I guess but yeah make a good argument and think of what they're gonna say so you can already have a counter argument to that I think there's another word but I can't remember y'all for some reason what that word is like counter argument so, so I think it starts with a C or a C sound um you have just a couple angels and then verse cards and then we will leave it for you. Mmm, Santa Claus, the twins. Guys, which by the way, I don't think that's a real angel or angel name or anybody. Like angel, I've never heard of twin angels before. I'm sorry, I've never in my life. Not with my years. So I think it's more of just an energy that someone's interpreted. Also, that's another <laughs> Gemini energy here. Um, duality of life, right? Two sides. Sometimes of the same coin, sometimes of, a, of an argument. Separate parties, even. Sometimes it's the same uh, goal, though. You might be going to it's the same goal, you and this other person, or you and this other side might want the same things. You might need to step into collaboration with these people, with this entity, with this person in order to uh, fully realize, in order to uh, fully manifest. There's another word for manifest, y'all. But I cannot think of it now. Mm -hmm. Bring into reality what you're thinking, what you're planning.
Okay. When you are grounded, when you stay grounded, you are, you tap in, like, as, as a root, right? You know, the root of a tree and other plants, of course, goes deep into the soil, right? And connects with all other plants around it. You know, the plant system is amazing and beautiful, complex and all very connected. I bet you guys have heard where trees can even send each other nutrients through the root system. Anyway, when you get grounded, right, this is Malpus, the ground, um, you are connected with all other things that are grounded as well, right? And this will help you out of this um, mental um, back and forth energy that we had covered before, right? Um, because that's all up in the air, it's all in your head. So you go down to your butt, right? <laughs> down to your the, the soles of your feet, okay? Whether you're sitting or standing, whatever you'd like to do. <clears throat> and kind of take stock of reality, what's around you, you know what I mean? There's a beauty in this, to see how you're connected with it all, see how it all has connected with you and how a life affects you. Because in turn you affect life. It is that push and pull, the yin and yang. And it's the balance. Because and I know I might sound like a spiritual mumbo jumbo, but you are a part of it, right? Like you exist and you influence your life. When you wake up and throw something out of a window, you influence <laughs> the um I guess happenstance that occurs afterward, right? Because you can throw a water balloon out a window and nothing happens, or you can hit a bird and, or you can hit a car, who knows? But you affect the life around you. So make sure there are positive effects, right? Mm hmm. Getting rounded, taking stock of reality. You know, when you write down your reality, what's literally just not what could happen, not what is happening, and just like, not, well, yeah, what is happening, but just. What, ha what has happened and what is currently happening, not the what ifs, not what is possible, like take stock of what is true. And then when you have that type of timeline, you can kind of predict or see how it will happen in the future, because maybe you're thinking of two different choices or how different things can happen, right? So take stock of what reality has given you, because reality itself is a blessing you know and that's a blessing you can take in and appreciate right learn from <laughs> um i know you might be impatient about that <laughs> be like oh this sounds like work but yeah it's gonna take some work it'll take just a tiny bit of time but it's not gonna take forever especially like the more work you put in the more you know rewards you'll reap from them and then after that things happen out of nowhere it's crazy they be like you know what let me accept the reality of course it can change it my dear magicians remember that card that came out before but when you have a better stock of your current reality then you can make more plans well, first you can accept it and then you can make more plans of what is to happen for the future, what you would like to happen for the future. Psalms 144.15 Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Hey! Um, have more faith in spirit, please. <laughs> They're saying, hey, look. Just have a little bit of faith. Just tiny, tiny bit. But hey, maybe faith got me. Maybe life has got me. Maybe the universe got me. And like, and then let it go, you know, let like just the different worries of what if, what if, what if, you know? Oh, look, like, wow, all things are possible with God, Mark 10, 27. I mean, what were we just saying? <laughs> let, they got you, it's possible, just let, just let it go, just let it go, let spirit have it. You're like, you know what, I've never done before, I don't even know if I fully believe in it, but if there is a higher power out there, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just let it go. Just be like, hey, if it can't happen, I'm gonna let it. I would like to let that happen. Mm -hmm. Without stepping in too much. Psalm 94, 19. When doubts filled my mind, your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Literally, what are we talking about? It's all same, same. Mm. 
have the faith, you guys. Let it happen. Let it be. And I'm gonna let it go. I cannot do it for you. Um, and no one will force you, okay? It's all your journey. So thank you so much for joining me here, joining us and the angels. If you haven't subscribed, just subscribe. Join the choir. Be an angel. Um, and we'll see you later, okay? Bye-bye.